Notre Dame's Joe Purick is one of the top high school kickers in the entire nation, but is he good enough to teach me the basics on booting field goals? Pyrrhic hovers around a 4.0 grade point average and is looking at prestigious schools such as Georgetown and Cornell to continue his kicking career. But teaching me how to kick, well, that might be his toughest test yet. But now he's going to try to teach me the finer points of kicking field goals here at Notre Dame. So you think you can help me, Joe? Yeah, you know, I think I can give you some good basics, and uh, I think we should do pretty well today. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go try it out. Boom. We can try it, and if, if I'm awful, then I'm awful. It's not your fault. <laughs> oh! If it pulls left, it's usually your eyes. It's, it's tough in a game because you want to see where the kick goes. <gasps> oh! Pushing right is usually a matter of uh, leaning away from the ball. Here we go. Oh! Makes it look easy. All right, I'm here with Notre Dame kicker Joe Pierrick. And Joe, I feel much more comfortable in front of the camera with a microphone than trying to line up a field goal. But you're a great coach. Uh, what was I doing wrong out there? Um, you know, just the little things. You had a pretty good uh, swing, your good, good uh, follow through. It's just the little <laughs> things like your eyes and your arms are little, which is definitely how I started when I first. I was when you were first getting into kicking, yeah. Right, but uh, you know, if you work on it a little bit, you could be hitting. 50 yards consistent. So there's still hope for me. There's definitely still hope for you, yeah. All right, so you started kicking. You said uh, you've been kicking here four years at Notre Dame, but you got called up to varsity your freshman year, and you just kind of taken off since then? Yeah, my freshman year, I was uh, brought up to varsity to do the kickoffs because they had seen that I was kicking consistent touchbacks my freshman year, which was pretty rare. And the kicker that they had was a good field goal guy, but his kickoffs were um, pretty short. So I was brought up to varsity with that. And, uh, you know, that was a really cool experience, but. I didn't know any of the guys on the team, you know, they were giant to me. Just, just <laughs> this little kid. freshman kid. Right. But it was a good experience, you know. I'm really glad that I've uh, stuck with it because, you know, I'd be a soccer player right now, but I'm really glad I'm still playing football. So, I mean, you used to play club soccer, which you don't anymore, but you still play here at Notre Dame, right? Yes. So. All right, and beyond this year, I know there's a lot of colleges looking at you. Tell me what going to the Chris Saylor competition in Las Vegas did for you. Kind of got your name out there, right? And put your, yeah. put, you know, got yourself on the radar for some of these, uh, you know, Division One schools that might need a kicker. Yeah, the Chris Saylor competition, you know, he holds twice a year. They're very big competitions every year. And um, I mean, like all the best high school kickers in the nation, right? Go to these. Yes, I mean, I, I, there's, there's maybe two kickers that I know that, that could compete at that level that don't go to the competition, but. You know, all the top schools, LSU, Oregon, Alabama, Auburn, they all have taken kids when they're looking for a kicker from this camp. And, you know, the competition really helped me uh, get recognized. You know, everyone knows that I'm the kid that won that camp. And Well, go going into it, do you think people knew who you were? Or, like, what were you nationally ranked? And then, and then on the flip side of that, once you left there, did it, you know, were you receiving calls and whatnot? Yeah, you know, when I went in, everyone knew that I was a solid kicker. But um, after the camp, I think even Chris Saylor, you know, everyone there, uh, they saw my potential and that helped me see my potential because, you know, I knew I was a good kicker, but, um, you know, I've seen kids that I've gone through that camp and I've won and I've always thought to myself, you know, if only I could work that hard to be that good. And that weekend that we had the competition, you know, I was just, I was, I was focused and I really wanted it that weekend and I came out winning it and uh, it's been great ever since. All right, so Pete McGowan's here at Notre Dame. His first uh, full season as the head coach, the interim tag is gone. He let you kick a little last year, kick some field goals. Yeah. Are you hoping to get more opportunities this season, your senior year with the Titans? Yeah, you know, more uh, along with the opportunities, I'd, I'd like to, um, I'm gonna really spend some time with the line this year, because last year, um, as a kicker, I have to say that I went four for six, but the two that I missed in the beginning of the season, they got blocked right off the bat, and um, we didn't attempt a lot for the for a lot of the season, and then I kicked four right at the end that I got off. But this year, I'm really gonna um, speak with the special teams and let them know that I think they know uh, that I'm serious about it this year, and hopefully this year, you know, when I'm called for the opportunity, I'm gonna perform at my best. What did it mean to you last year, you know, Coach McGowan turning to you and having the confidence in you to? You know, you did boot a game-winning field goal. Not a lot of high school teams have that weapon, a good kicker on their team. So what did it mean to you that Coach McGowan looked to you, you know, to, to come through in the clutch? Um, it shows me that Coach Pete, you know, believes in me and believes in the special teams. Um, I, I know that he's uh, done a lot for this program, and I think that was the first thing, that was the first big step that our team has had because the last coach, um, he didn't exactly, 
believe in, in me and uh, everyone on the team knew that they, that he should have given me a chance but Coach McGowan you know took that big step in letting me get my chance and uh, I'm glad that uh, I was able to put it through for the team. I'm not so ha I'm not I'm happier that the team got the win than I got the game winning field because I was just happy that our team got all over that hump and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the season and what our team can can do as far as uh, performing wise. That was, uh, I believe, Pete McGowan's first victory here at Notre Dame as the uh, interim head coach. But expect big things from Joe Perrick, one of the top high school kickers in the entire nation. I'm Pep Fernandez at Notre Dame High School with Joe Perrick.